kids, what do you think of your new school uniforms? <coughs> oh, I hate this new uniform we've got. I hate wearing dress shirts every day and they're so hot and uncomfortable in the summer. Oh yeah, and I got sent to the principal's office wearing this. But apparently dress shirts can't have watermelons on them. So with all these math things, you're gonna have to know one more equation, that is y equals r squared minus four. This is all in the test. Yes, student number three. I, can, Mr. Dix, I can, can I use the restroom? You got two minutes. So another equation you'll have to learn, students, is that y equals mx plus b. This is a very important equation because m equals the slope of your line, while b equals the y-intercept of your line. So if you follow these steps correctly, you will succeed indeed on the standardized test. So I will need you... Um. Well, 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 if it isn't, mister, don't follow policy a lot. Mr. Dix, my earphone's kind of, kind of gone. Outside my room, now! Uh, Mr. Dix. Now! <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me for one second, please. Number five, when are you actually going to follow the dress code? Actually, that's what I want to talk to you about. For not following policy, you are sentenced to two days of detention. Well, that's the thing. I can't afford the uniform. You can't afford a hundred dollar shirt? So you're punishing me for not wearing the dress code instead of being late for class? Yes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to... Go to the restroom. John's taking a little too long on the toilet. Devin doesn't really like the dress code.